Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about residue theorem. So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing we need to consider about this one. We know that z equals to a plus b i. This one for the real. This one for imaginary. So we put this one go inside in here. And we have a minus 1 plus b i. Now we put this one go inside the absolute value. So we have the square root of a minus 1 to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 equals to number 4. Now we put the square for the both sides to cancel about the square root. So this one we can use about the standard of the circle. So that means we have a minus c to the power of 2 plus b minus d to the power of 2 equals to r square. So if we look carefully about this one, the center of the circle should be about c d. But on this one, we have 1, 0. And R, that's A, about number 4. And that is the radius of the circle. Now we need to graph about this one. This one that is about A, this one that is about B. A equals to number 1 and B equals to number 0. So the center that should be in here. Radius is about number 4. So that should be like this. Now, this one in here we have number 5. This one in here, we have negative number 3. And now, we have this one. So we need to find the both. And that is about on the denominator in here. So I will put about 1 plus z equals to number 0 and z equals to number 0. So I will put number 1 cone here. And we have negative number 1. So we know that z that is about a plus b i. So we can transform about z equals to a plus b i. So negative number 1, that's e about negative number 1 plus 0 i. And number 0, that is about 0 plus 0 i. So that means negative number 1 equals to a. Number 0 equals to b, similar for the second one. So this one in here, we have a b equals to negative number 1, 0. And the second one. A, B equals to 0, 0. Now we need to find which one day inside the circle and which one day outside the circle. So we have A equals to negative number 1, negative number 1 in here. And B equals to number 0 going here. So the pole, that's it in here. The second one, 0, 0, that's it in here. So as you can see that two poles they inside the circle. 
and now we can consider both of them for the first one that is about z equals to number zero so we have about g of z equal to z multiplied by f of z f of z that is about this one so if we multiply by z we have cosine z over 1 plus z after we have this one we can find about residue of f and at location of 0 so that means we have 3 of number 0 so I will put number 0 cone here and here and we have number 1 the next one z equals to negative number 1 so we have 3 of z equals to z plus number 1 multiplied by f of z and we just have only cosine z over z and now we can find about residue of f at location negative number 1 so we put negative number 1 in here and we have negative cosine of number 1 because cosine of negative a equal to cosine a after we have everything we can find the final answer that is about 2bi and we need to sum on the residue in here so for this one we have 2bi this one we have number one and this one we have negative cosine number one and that is the final answer we need to find in here here is about the full answer of the question in here